Hey, what's going on, guys? Mr. Mom. Just hanging out Thursday night. Um, got some new stuff going on in the 15 gallon, so I thought I'd go ahead and bring out a real quick video for you guys. Not a whole lot to talk about other than some of the changes I got going on. If you remember the 15 gallon from, I don't know, a few videos back or whatever, um, it just, it's never really looked that good. Um, it's never had good lighting or anything. It's just been kind of a crap tank. Um, you know, I'm not going to hold no punches, guys. I can, I'm humble enough to tell you when my tank was crap, so. That tank was pretty crap, I'll be the first to admit it, so I just got some changes rolling out here. Went ahead, got some uh, T5HOs. I know stunt, they're not, uh, they're not halides, but uh, what stunt's saying, you know, just real quick as, as kind of, uh, as a disclaimer, uh, what's, what, what, let me show you how to stunt, what he's saying about lights if you're watching his videos, he's right about that, especially in bigger tanks, deeper tanks. Um, you know, the best way to go, you know, the biggest bang for your buck for the money, he's right, is going to be, you know, halides or um, PCs or, uh, you know, like power compacts. Um, those are really the best way to go. And, you know, for my tanks, like my 37, my 29, I'm going to be rolling PCs, the power compacts, because they're deep tanks. And, you know, you're going to spend a lot of money on lights no matter whether you get T5HOs. Those are expensive, too. You know, PCs are expensive. Halides are probably the most expensive. Um, but as far as, you know, power con consumption and the bang for your buck, um, the PCs and the halides, if you can afford them, and if you have the tank to justify it, uh, in my opinion, uh, that's the way to go. So, But anyway, this is the 15-gallon. You know, it's 15 gallons. It's short. Um, it's shallow. You know, it's... I mean, what more do you need than T5HOs? In my opinion, you don't need any more. I got three and a half watts a gallon on this tank, so I got three and a half watts a gallon. I got the pressurized CO2 back there. You guys can kind of see it kicking back there in the back. The bubble's coming up. Uh, purple Kabamba just starting up. I mean, you got to keep in mind this is a brand new tank, guys. I just rescaped this last night. Um, really changed up the wood. You can see old. Uh, Old hatchet face hanging out there underneath the wood, just chilling. He's actually starting to get some whiskers. He might be a male. If he is a male, I'm going to be fired up about that. But uh, either way, yeah, I've moved the wood to the back, um, give it more of a 3D effect, um, and just got some plants in there, like you know, some wrappings. Got some various crypts, some loosens, some windetti. I'm not sure what that big bastard is right there, but it's wicked either way. So. Um, temple plant in the back behind this one can't really see it's just a piece this is a spiralis right here um, but now that you know the, because this tank's got some high light on it now I'm gonna be getting some different plants you guys can see all the Anubius Nana that I got kicking up there sending off all kinds of new runners and stuff and looking pretty wicked look at all the purling action look at all the bubbles coming up and the purling action coming on from the crypts and stuff I mean the tank is just purling like crazy shrimp are facing off trying to claim their new territory. They're not messing around, guys. They're just as fired up as I am about the new tank. So there it is, guys. The new 15-gallon preliminary. Some of this stuff's going to be ripped out, like some of this valve and stuff that's in the back. That's probably going to be ripped out. There's another big old mono shrimp right there kicking it, running through the Anubius. So, uh, yeah, guys, fired up about the new tank. Going to be changing some things, but this is the way it looks to start with. So, yeah, J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks. Thanks for coming out and watching, guys.